Hi class, this is Mrs. Gordian, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys about long division with zeros in the quotient. So let's get started with our first problem. This problem states 750 divided by 7. Remember that 750 is called the dividend, and the 7 is your divisor. So, right now, I'm going to look at the first number in my dividend, which is a 7. So, I look at that, and say I say I have 7 apples. Can I put that into a group of 7? Yes. How many groups? You can get 1, because you guys know 7 times 1 is 7. So, now I'm going to subtract. 7 minus 7 will give you 0. Your next step is to bring down your next number in your dividend, which is a 5. So now it's asking you if you have, say something like, 5 apples, can you put that into a group of 7? No, you can't. You don't have enough. So whenever you say no, remember, that means we put a 0 above that number, which is located in the dividend. So again, we said no to the 5, so we put a 0 above it. Your next step would then be to drop down your next number in your dividend, which is a 0. That now gives us a 50 to work with. If I had 50 apples, could I put that into groups of 7? You bet we could. How many groups of 7 could we get? Well, 7 times 7 is 49, so that's as high as we can go. So I would put a 7 up top above my 0, and 7 times 7 is 49. If I subtract, 50 minus 49 gives you 1. 1 would be brought up as our remainder. So my answer is 107 remainder 1. That is your quotient for this division problem. See, that wasn't that hard. Let's try another problem. This problem is 8,016 divided by 2. So let's take a look at the number in our dividend. That would be 8,016. So the first number in our dividend is an 8. Again, let's stick with apples. If I have 8 apples, can I put those apples into groups of 2? Of course. How many groups of 2 would I get? Well, think about it. 2 times 4 gives you 8. So 2 times 4 is 8. You subtract and get a 0. Then you would bring down your next number, which is a 0. Well, if I don't have anything to put in groups, can I put it into a group? No. So remember, every time we say no, we have to put a 0 above it where it's located in the dividend. So I'm going to put a 0 above the other 0 in our dividend. My next step would be then to drop down another number. So I'm dropping down the number 1. Every time you drop down a number, you have to ask yourself, can you put it into that many groups? Well, if I have one apple, can I put it into two groups without cutting it up or anything? No. So again, every time we say no, that means we put a 0 above it. So what do I have to do next? Well, you guessed it, drop down that 6, that last number in your dividend. So now I have 16. 2 times what will give you 16? If you said 8, you were right. So let's put an 8 above that 6 in our dividend. 2 times 8 is 16 exactly, so we have no remainder left over in this problem. Notice how every single number in my dividend has a number above it in the quotient. You have to make sure that you have that. Your answer is 4,008 for this problem. 
If you want to relook at what we just did, you can play the tape backwards and watch it over. If not, let's move on to a next problem. This next problem says 328 divided by 3. So let's take a look at the first number in our dividend, which is a 3. If I have three apples, can I put those into a group of three? Of course, you can have one group. So three times one equals three. You're going to subtract and get zero. Your next step is always to drop down the next number in your dividend, which is a two. Now, if I have two apples, can I put those into groups of three? No, you don't have enough. And remember, every time we say no, that means we put a zero above it. Then my next step is to drop down that eight. Now I have 28. So it's time for you to stop and think. Three times what will give you close to 28 without going over it? Well, nothing's going to give you exactly 28 by multiplying by three. But you should know that 3 times 9 will give you 27. So we're going to use that. 3 times 9 is 27. So now you have the problem 28 minus 27. Well, 8 minus 7 is 1, and 2 minus 2 is 0. So you now have one number left over, which is your remainder. So we're going to bring that up, and we're going to have a remainder of 1. So the answer to this division problem is 109, remainder 1. I hope you guys have learned how to solve division problems where you're going to end up having zeros, just like this one right here, in your, in your quotient. If you feel confident now, you can move on to your IXL division. If not, rewatch the video again until you feel more comfortable.